right uh, is Cockles and Muscles, which is uh, a Museum of London late event where we have a whole host of exciting activities for Londoners young and old to come and celebrate London's vibrant food culture, particularly our seafood culture, here in the heart of the East End, close to Billingsgate Market. Our galleries are open. We have a brand new exhibition called Estuary. We've had poetry. We've had the London uh, Gay Men's Chorus uh, singing. We've had traditional uh, sea shanties. We've had a huge amount of oysters enjoyed and seafood enjoyed. There has been a, a night of lectures looking at the, the psychology of food and the history of food from Roman times onwards. It's a fantastic place for that because you've actually got people at Billingsgate with skills that you can't find almost anywhere else. So you can ask somebody where the fish comes from and they'll know the answer to that. A fish merchant would know, would really have all that detailed knowledge about how the fish grow and, um, and how to recognise quality. Uh, the history has always fluctuated. For the last 20 or 30 years or so, it hasn't been very popular, seafood in this city, but I think we're rediscovering local cuisine and local traditions and local flavours, and hopefully um, it's becoming a, an established part of Londoners' diets again. I enjoyed this because I like the history, the sociological side of things, um, and how um, the food, the fish culture has developed in London. All of those things, those taste, touch, smell, and even the look of something, they're all going together to create what we call flavour. Um, that was really fascinating, just the way we re uh, respond to food. It's a good mix of learning and also fun, so really good event. I liked it, it's very informal and yeah. it's been fun and I've enjoyed it in the still life. It just changes people's perceptions of what museums are about, you know, they're not just kind of quiet places where everything's still is actually re they're really lively with something going on all the time. Museums are changing. They're changing in my country, they're changing in your country and people are expecting much more from museums. Of course they want our content, they want to see our collections, they want to attend our lectures, they want to find out more about the city and more about the way that the city has been shaped by people from across the planet. I know you're